Hey guys, it's Tosses again, and I've got a special episode in the Monk 101 series for you today. I was originally going to do this video later on, but I keep seeing these questions asked on the Monk forums pretty often, so I thought I might as well do it now. So you've put all those long hours into questing and doing dungeons, and you finally reach level 90 on your Monk. So what now? Oh, that's simple, I'm inclined to say. But obviously it can't be that simple if there's so many people asking. And indeed, it can be somewhat daunting trying to get into the scary world of PvP if you have no idea where to get started. Provided you sorted everything I talked about in my first video, your first major goal should be to get some basic gear. Leatherworkers can make a set called Crafted Dreadful Gladiators that includes a full set, bracers, a belt, and boots. Tailors can make the last piece in the set, and that's a cloak. I'll have a link for all the items you need in the description of this video. Once you've got your gear, your next step is to gem and enchant it. I'll talk about gems and enchants for monks in more detail in a future video, but you generally want resilience and agility over everything else. The gems most people use, and are going to be using almost exclusively with patch 5.3 and the nerf to PvP power, are the pure resilience ones, and the agility plus resilience ones. After you're done gemming and enchanting, it's time to hit the battlegrounds. At first, it'll be quite rough. You might not have a lot of PvP experience, and your gear is not the best, but try not to let that worry you too much. A lot of people get into PvP for the first time with this mentality, I'm so bad at PvP, I just set my team back, I'll never be good, and so on. In my opinion, this is the worst thing you could ever do. For one, do you think all these top players that you see and hear about all the time were amazing from the first moment they started playing? Hell no, they had to start somewhere, and this is where you'll start. Battlegrounds are great for getting a feel of how monks actually work without having all the limitations of arena. A lot of the time, you might be confused as to how you died and what you could have done to prevent that, but push on and try to learn as much as you can from your mistakes. The goal here is not to become the best PvP in the world, but rather to get some basic experience so you can move on to a more balanced learning environment, the arena. Before you do get started with that though, I highly recommend that you do enough battlegrounds to at least be able to buy your weapons. You'll need to get 7,250 honor in a season for that, and if possible, so that you have full PvP gear. Now that you're ready for arena, it's time to acknowledge something. You're going to lose a lot, and it's going to suck. However, as I've already said, everyone has to get started somewhere, so try not to let it bother you too much if you do lose. Having said that, losing is always easier to deal with when you're playing with a friend rather than a random from trade chat, so try to grab someone that you know who has similar arena experience with you and jump right in. Stick to 2 vs 2 for now, and preferably with a healer, as Windwalker monks don't work very well in dual DPS comps. Your first goal when you start playing Arena should be to familiarize yourself with the flow of the game and simple mechanics. When the enemy team is using their offensive cooldowns that you start learning to recognize, that's when you use your defensive cooldowns, Touch of Karma, Fortifying Brew, Diffuse Magic. When you manage to get an enemy in a 6 second paralysis that your healer can follow up with a crowd control spell of his own, that's when you use your offensive cooldowns and push for a kill. Does it look like your healer is unable to cope with that nasty warrior or death knight on him? Go help him with your amazing control abilities. Paralysis, Disable, Fist of Fury, Grapple Weapon, Ring of Peace, any of those will do the trick. Improving your communication is also key. You should be on Skype with your teammate, and you should be constantly communicating about your condition. Is the warrior using his cooldowns and you're stunned so you can't defend yourself? Let your friend know before you're dead. Sharing information on the enemy team is also very important. So monitor that focus frame and let your friend know that the shaman is trying to hex him. A trick that I somehow don't see people use very often is using fraps to take videos of their own games and then watching them to see what went wrong. I think that's a very useful way to see what you need to improve first as it can be pretty confusing to suddenly die and have no idea what caused it. So watching a game where a warlock is freely casting chaos bolts on you with all of his cooldowns up, for example, should tell you that you generally need to work on paying closer attention to what the enemy team is doing. It'll take a lot of effort to get yourself up to speed, but it is my thorough belief that if you're persistent and really work on what you lack, then there's nothing to be afraid of in the world of PvP. Oh, and something that many people tend to forget, and that includes me a lot of the time actually, is that your main goal here is to have fun, so do just that. I really hope I have helped you get into PvP with this video, as I know how frustrating it can be to be relatively new to something and have no idea how to get started. Good luck in your future PvP endeavors, and thanks for watching.